Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your July 2020 horoscope for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I do recommend this for your rising sign. But before we get into this, I wanted to mention that I am currently offering a class and it is currently available on Facebook in the private group Astrology Class with Daquan Jones. And so feel free to join in on that class. You can contact me or you can go directly to the link. I will leave the information for that down below in the comments as well as the description. So let's go ahead and get into this horoscope. And this is a great month for those of you with Leo rising as we're going to see the sun enter into Leo, of course, as it always does in July. We're going to see that on the 22nd. So the sun will enter into your first house. But before we get into that, we have Saturn retrograde that is entering into the sign of Capricorn here on the 1st of July. And so we have experienced this Saturn and Aquarius for a very brief time here. And it's stationed retrograde in May. And now Saturn is retrogressing all the way back into the sign of Aquarius where we started this out. And of course, we had that great big Saturn-Pluto conjunction at the beginning of the year that was this big catalyst for this change and breakdown of our reality. And so this is a big moment with Saturn retrogressing back into the sign of Capricorn. This is going to happen in your sixth house, where this is really a big time of reassessing your reality, your responsibilities, your work life, what you are doing. Are you really doing what serves you and benefits you? Because remember, this Saturn has really been in your seventh house for some time now, where it has been this authority and this responsibility and this role to play with others, with your friends, with your business associates, with your romantic partners. You have really been in this position or this role of authority and coming back to this Saturn in your sixth house, this is really bringing your role and your responsibility back into the place of really focusing in on your work and your responsibilities. And so still focusing on your career as we're coming into July here, but responsibility shifting in terms of where the reality focus should be, where the responsibility should be. The focus is really leaving this place of dealing with others and more so coming back into what are your responsibilities? What are your duties? And so focus really coming back in on you as an individual and how you can focus in on your responsibilities and really meet those goals that you have set out for yourself. And so really coming into this month of July, there's going to be a heavy focus back on you as an individual and how you can show up in your own life and what you can do for yourself. Now, following this on the 5th of July, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn. And this is part of a three-part eclipse season that we have started here on the 5th of June when we had this full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. That was the starting point for that where it really was this releasing of these hobbies and activities that no longer serve you and entering into this space where you are starting to implement these new activities, these new hobbies, these new interests, right? There's a lot here in terms of what you have been doing and creating in this space, especially in your career life for many of you here with Leo rising. And you may also feel this if you are a Leo sun or moon, but again, strongly influencing those who have Leo rising. Now, as we moved ahead, we had that solar eclipse in Cancer sitting back in your 12th house where there has been a lot of work internally on a subconscious level, right? We talked a lot about that where there has been a lot of influences, a lot of assistance that has been happening behind the scenes for you, Leo. And now moving ahead here, we're ending out this eclipse season with a full moon lunar eclipse 
in Capricorn, in your sixth house, where this is a release point of all of the stressors, all of the work, all of the responsibilities that are not in alignment with who you are. And so a lot of shedding of responsibilities and a lot of shedding of stressors and weight that no longer benefits you on your path, on your journey here coming into July. And so that is a big theme here really is strongly focusing on your self-care, strongly focusing on your responsibilities, the role that you're playing, and ultimately focusing back on yourself and making sure that everything that you are building and creating and doing in this space is in full alignment with who you are. Moving forward to the 12th of July, we have Mercury, which is stationing direct here in the sign of Cancer. So as Mercury stations direct in Cancer, this is a big epiphany because remember that we had this Mercury retrograde that has been happening back in your 12th house, where this has been a lot of revisiting subconscious wounds, going in, doing the shadow work, a lot that's been going on behind the scenes for you, Leo. And as Mercury comes direct, there's a lot that is being revealed to you through your subconscious. And so this is a big month of really focusing in on what is going on subconsciously for you. This is a big month of meditating. This is a big month of paying attention to the signs, right? There is a lot of information that is coming through for you from the subconscious side. And so you really want to pay very close attention to the symbols, to the signs, to the feelings that are coming up here during this time for you. Moving forward here, also in your 12th house, we have this new moon that is happening and this is the second Cancer new moon that we are dealing with here because remember that starting off this eclipse season, we started with a Sagittarius full moon lunar eclipse. And so we didn't start the eclipse season with a Gemini solar eclipse. Instead, we had this Cancer solar eclipse. So this is our second Cancer new moon that we're dealing with here in the month of July. And that solar eclipse was really that big moment of this enlightenment, of this assistance, of this big epiphany, of this understanding going on on a subconscious level. And now this is giving you another gateway to access your subconscious, to really tap into those symbols, to tap into those feelings that come about, to really go in and to work on those subconscious blocks, those cycles, those patterns that you are feeling deep within you. And so this is a big moment, especially with that Mercury that has stationed direct in the same spot there on the 12th, where you are coming into this realization of the areas that are blocked, of the areas that you need to work on, of the areas that are bringing you this inspiration and these messages of clarity into your life. And so it really is a big time once again to focus on those symbols, to focus on those messages, on those feelings that are coming through for you. And so for many of you, it is a big time to really keep a journal, to really meditate, to really take that time for deep reflection and insight for those of you with Leo rising. Now on the 22nd of July, we have the sun, which is entering into your own sign. And so this is going to be the sun in your first house, where once again, there's going to be a big focus on you. And so as the sun enters into your first house, it is a big time to really take a look at yourself once again, and how you are showing up, how you're presenting yourself. And really paying attention, making sure that you are not acting from a space of ego, because remember that we are talking about the sun that wants to shine, that wants to aspire, that wants to light up. And so really making sure that when you are lighting up, that you're coming from a place of who you truly are. And so the sun is really coming in here and it is lighting up your presentation. It's lighting up your appearance. It's lighting up your personality. But this is a big time to be more expressive. This is a big time to be more outgoing, to really show others who you are. But once again, making sure that you are tapping in fully to who you are and not into this space of these negative attachments to who you believe that you are. 
And so really big time for those of you with Leo rising once again to really work on yourself. So those are the transits. Now I'm going to get into the cards. And for the month of July, I did pull from the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, and the Black Moon Astrology deck. So starting off here from the Rider Tarot deck, first card we have is the Four of Wands in reverse. And so once again, we talked about how this is a big month to focus on yourself. And it is a big month to focus on your accomplishments, on your achievements, and to really do what is really celebrating your life, celebrating who you are. And so again, making sure that your priorities are straight, making sure that everything that you are doing this month is in full alignment with who you are and really releasing and letting go of these stressors, of these worries. And speaking of stressors, look at our next card here, the Nine of Swords. Big time for you to really, once again, release and let go of these stressors, of these worries, of these attachments to these negative influences. And for many of you, you are clearing out old responsibilities. You're clearing out old connections that no longer serve you here in the month of July. And again, going off of this being a big time to focus on yourself, we have the star card here where it is your time to find that balance and that harmony and who you are and to express it. This is your time to shine and so really focusing in on your gifts, your talents, on who you are and what serves you to the highest, greatest good is a huge theme here for the month of July for those of you with Leo rising. And again, you may feel connected to this if you are a Leo sun or moon, but strongly affecting those with Leo rising. But this is a big time for you to really shine and show who you are. And really stand in who you are, but once again, coming from that healthy place. Next card here is the Eight of Cups in reverse. And so this is a big moment here where many of you are not wanting to face the struggles and the difficulties. And a lot of this having to do with this Neptune retrograde in your eighth house, where you must go in and figure out what fears what struggles, what difficulties, what inner feelings are really true and which ones are not. Because this Neptune retrograde is a big moment of needing to find discernment. And this is happening in your eighth house where we can see your fears, your difficulties, your deeper inner feelings, your past traumas, right? This is a deep house of really finding that intimacy within yourself. And so big month of really becoming more intimate with yourself, really understanding once again, unraveling these subconscious blocks and patterns to the deepest level and really understanding who you are and how to express who you are. And so strong disconnect from others, strong disconnect from responsibilities that are no longer serving you. Really big month for you, Leo, to come back into alignment fully and completely with who you are. Last card here, which is your card, the strength card. So once again, big focus on yourself here in the month of July, but really big moment to have the strength, to have the courage, to be vulnerable, to go in and to connect deeply with yourself to understand these fears, these blocks, these patterns, these deeper feelings, and to really connect in and do the inner work. Again, we have a lot that is going on here in cancer, where there is a lot of inner work, a lot of completion, a lot of realization to do deep within at that subconscious level. First card here from the Black Moon Astrology deck is the Grand Trine in Reverse. So big month where, again, a lot of your blessings are coming from you. A lot of your rewards, a lot of what you can gain from this month of July is coming from this internal place where, again, this is a big month of really connecting deeply internally with yourself and finding that inner truth, finding that deeper connection, 
understanding how to work through these patterns and difficulties to make these blessings a reality. We want to turn this card around. And for many of you, your blessings come from the deep inner work. Because again, you have Pisces in your eighth house where it is a big transformation process for you to start to gain the belief in yourself, for you to start to create and manifest the reality that you want for yourself is really through your deep inner work. Next card here is the first house. Again, the sun is going to be in your first house where this is a major time of focusing on you, focusing on your health, on your self-care, on what is in full alignment with you. Last two cards here from the Black Moon Astrology deck. We have Mercury and Black Moon Lilith in reverse. And so this is really a big time where the understanding once again is coming from deep within. And with Mercury here in reverse, there is this desire to find a logical answer or solution to what is going on here. But really the answer is found deep within. Again, there's a lot of subconscious work to do with that solar eclipse that happened back in your 12th house, along with that Mercury retrograde that is coming full circle here in July. So a lot of deep inner work that needs to be done, a lot of finding, un a lot of finding meaning and understanding through the symbols, through the feelings, through the messages that come through for you. So this is a big time of really, once again, connecting back in with yourself and finding that truth, finding that understanding, finding that knowledge deep within. And so this is where there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of misinformation in terms of trying to find answers or trying to seek something that is outside of yourself. Because once again, for you, Leo, this is a big month where the answers are found deep within you. The answers are found within really by going deep within, finding that deeper connection, going through that inner work, really going through that transformation process. So big focus on you and yourself. Now from the Connolly Tarot deck, first card here is the Four of Wands. And we saw that Four of Wands card when we were pulling from the Rider Tarot deck. That was our first card that was in reverse. And so big moment, if you are willing to go deep within, if you're willing to farm that deeper connection with yourself, if you're willing to do the deep subconscious work and go through the transformation, that you will celebrate, that you will find that joy. Again, these rewards are coming from deep within you. These rewards are coming through this intimacy and this connection within yourself during this month of July. Next card here is the chariot. And so once again, this is a big month of shedding and releasing old responsibilities, releasing old connections that no longer serve you. You are finding a new path here with the chariot card. And to go along with that, we have transition in reverse. Again, shedding these outside influences and these outside responsibilities and outside connections that no longer serve you. So this is a deep inner transformation that is happening here where the focus is coming back internally by, again, changing your path, changing your mission, changing your goal, shedding off these old connections and these old responsibilities that no longer serve you. Last card here is the Queen of Cups. And so this is a big moment of doing what is nurturing to you, doing what is fulfilling to you doing what is in your creative flow. Again, we have that fifth house that was extremely highlighted by that full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, where this is a lot to do with this eclipse season about you expressing your creativity, expressing your talents, expressing your abilities, putting yourself out in the forefront. And there's a lot to say here about doing what you are in flow with doing what you are in alignment with here with the queen of cups. So that was your horoscope for Leo sun, moon, or rising. 
If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And feel free to join the group Astro Metaphysical Love and Light on Facebook. It is a free group where you can share your spiritual wisdom, motivational advice, or just plain old peace and love. And I want to thank you all once again so much for joining. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.